least three separate crashes involving drivers who were allegedly under the influence this holiday weekend. We now know at least two of those wrecks were deadly. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall spoke to one of the victim's families and shares their message to people who choose to get behind the wheel while impaired. A memorial now marks the spot where family tells me William Ayala was hit by someone that drove away. A husband, father and grandfather taken too soon. See, it feels like a dream that I haven't woke up from, you know. I think only a monster would do that because who would leave a person to die on the street by themselves? Flowers, candles and messages left at the intersection of Kelly and Lyndhurst on Indianapolis's west side. He always told me if one day I die in an accident, I don't feel you to be, feel guilty. I want you to remember me with the happiness because I'm going to die, you know, doing what I love to do. When you said my dad died, it was just, you know, I couldn't really believe it. Wilman Jr. and Kevin Ayala say their dad, Wilman Ayala, was killed while riding his motorcycle Saturday night. This isn't real. This isn't real. This can't happen. Just a block from home. Police, you know, that yellow tape. His wife, Ophelia Garcia, knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. I'm calling him and I'm texting him. Police say the person responsible was found less than a mile from the scene of the crash. She was arrested for allegedly driving while intoxicated. I hope this eats you up alive. But Ayala's death isn't the only one over the weekend police believe was the result of an impaired driver. Police say a man walking down Kessler Boulevard was hit by a driver and killed. It could have all been avoided. A third crash near the intersection of Arlington and Meadowlark. The driver here also arrested for alleged DWI. Police say he and a kid were taken to the hospital but are expected to be okay. But you don't know what it feels like until it happens to you. A family left grieving as a result. Every morning, get up and get in his knees and pray for his kids, pray for his grandkids, pray for his family. He was funny, man. He was a uplifting guy. He was never, you know, in a bad mood, always trying to get other people to smile. You know, he never believed in anybody trying to be down. He always tried to lift them up. Ayala's family want people to think twice before getting behind the wheel. Stay home, call an Uber, uh, don't drive because uh, stuff can happen. If it doesn't happen to you, it could happen to somebody else. She destroyed a family. Police say that driver has been arrested for driving while impaired. We're still working to learn as to what that impairment might have been. The family tells me they're working on planning a memorial ride. On the city's west side, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Family says Wil Wilman Ayala was hit and killed while driving home this weekend after planning a memorial ride for his friend Frank Brito. Brito was shot and killed while riding his motorcycle last week. Wilman and Frank were the head of their biker club. Important information to know in Indiana, a driver is considered impaired if their blood alcohol content reaches 0.08 or higher. If you are arrested with a BAC that high, then your driver's license will be suspended for a minimum of 30 days. To be released from jail, bail will have to be posted. Your car will be towed at your expense. And if you refuse a breath test, then your license will automatically be suspended for one year. This is all according to the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute.